Hi, welcome to another Azure Security Community video. My name is Maria de Souza, and I am a Program Manager in the Customer Experience Engineering Team for Azure Sentinel. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the new Data Connectors Health Monitoring Workbook, a workbook which will allow you to see how much data you've been ingesting into Sentinel over time from different sources, as well as detect anomalies. But let's see a demo. And here is the Data Collection Health Monitoring Workbook. It has three tabs, Overview, Data Collection Anomalies, and Agents Info. But first, you have to select the subscription, the workspace, the time range if you want to modify it, and note that we have a Show Help toggle. In the first place, you will find the tables where you have been ingesting data into Sentinel. You can see the size, the number of entries, the size per entry, and whether the table is billable or not. Then, you have a graph with the number of events and the table volume that you have ingested in the time range you selected. And this can give you a sense of whether there have been any unexpected drops or spikes in the data ingestion. Next, we have another graph with the number of events by table. And here, you can select a specific day or time range where you want to see more. If I want to see what happened this day, I just have to select it. And below, I will see the number of events for each table for this specific day. I can also see more detail just below. Next, you have the events per second per table. And by default, the time range is 24 hours, but you can modify it. You can see also the lowest events per second and the highest events per second that you got. You have the same information by device vendor and by computer, Ceph or Syslog. Next, you have the total events collected over time by table name for the last seven days and for the last 30 days. As you can see, we have a spike here. Next, you can see the last event received where you can define a threshold with the minimum period of time that you consider acceptable for having received the last log. And you will see by table when the last log was ingested. This can also help detect anomalies or if something isn't working as expected. You have this information by table, device vendor, computer. And now let's have a look at the data collection anomalies tab. In the Data Collection Anomalies tab, you can see how many events you've received by table and how many were expected. Based on this prediction, we give each table a score. You can modify the threshold here. By default, it's 2 and minus 2. Let's have a look at one of these tables. For example, the Protection Status table has received more logs than expected. If we click on it, it will load the anomaly graph. The orange line shows us the baseline or the expected trend. The blue line shows us the actual count. If we scroll down, we can see more information by resource ID. Here, you can see that this trend could seem strange, but thanks to the baseline, we can see that it's actually expected. On the other hand, these three here have an unexpected trend, which could solve the mystery. Finally, let's have a look at the Agents Info tab. This one allows you to detect latency and capacity issues in your machines, which can help prevent them in the future. You'll find stats for both your Azure managed machines, including Azure Arc managed servers, and also non-Azure servers reporting through the Microsoft monitoring agent. In the first section, you'll find the computer's location in the map and how many computers you have by operating system. Next, you have the heartbeat tracking for the time range you selected. You'll see whether there are any machines with unhealthy status that are not sending heartbeat. You can also find here the operation status table with information about failures, errors, and warnings reported by each computer. Below, you can see the same information, but with a detailed message. On the right, you have this graph with information over time. You can select a specific period in this graph and it will load exactly the messages that you got for this period of time. And this concludes our demo. If you found this workbook useful, you can start using it today. Remember, you can edit it to make it more relevant for your organization. Let us know your feedback in the comments. And thanks for watching.